If one of your New Year's resolutions is getting your health care in order, it's important to not forget about your oral health, especially with your children. More Health is a nonprofit organization that provides health and safety education to children, teens, and adults throughout the Bay Area. And this morning, Executive Director Karen Buckenheimer is back to talk about the importance of dental care. Good morning. Good Happy morning. New Year. Thank you very much. You too. Do you think, I think this is true. I think people really at the beginning of the year, they try to say, okay, here's the appointments I need to do. Here's what I need to get my health care in order. So we need to make sure that we also include visiting the dentist. And you say that really affects everything. Oh my gosh. So the, the health of your mouth, it over, over, it affects, excuse mm -hmm. me, the overall health. So if your mouth is not healthy, it really can take a toll on the rest of your body. For children mm -hmm. that have mouth pain, a lot of times they're absent from school. They can't concentrate. It affects their speech. It affects their concentration. And so it's really important at the beginning of the year, we need to not only get healthy overall, but also remember that mouth. Yeah, well, and this is a big, I know you guys teach several lessons, not right. just dental health and all over the schools across the Bay Area, but I feel like dental is probably one of the biggest lessons that you guys do repeatedly that schools ask you to come back and do. Absolutely, so we're very involved in a school-based sealant program for Hillsborough County and also Pinellas County. And so what that means is that we go in and we provide the education to second grade students in Title I schools. And then we have two resources, Tampa Family Health Centers and Suncoast, mm -hmm. they come in and they provide sealants and screenings for the children. So we're very involved because we know, according to the Surgeon General, one in five children suffer from tooth decay and have mouth pain. So they estimate 50 million school hours are missed wow. every year. So that's a lot. So we want children healthy. We want them in school and able to concentrate and do well in school. Well, and for parents watching this morning, what advice do you have to make sure that we are keeping up with um, you know, their oral health? health? Because okay. a lot of people assume that, well, their baby teeth are going to eventually fall out. It's okay. Okay, so I would say in a nutshell, make sure when your baby first gets those teeth that you clean them with soft gauze. You don't share pacifiers or put a spoon in your mouth and mm -hmm. then into the baby's mouth because you're transparent referring all the germs in your mouth to the baby's mouth. So we need to get the baby off to a good start. Okay. Take the baby at about age one to a dentist. Have them check the mouth because there's some significant problems that can happen that can be helped early on to make sure that dentist checks that okay. mouth. Okay, then we want to make sure we do a couple of major things. First of all, those teeth need to be brushed twice a day. Okay. We recommend for two minutes, so singing a song mm -hmm. a couple times, ABC song for a couple of minutes would be great. Sometimes now the toothbrushes have little light up things. They I do, find that helpful. for the timers yeah. and things like that, so that's fantastic. So in the morning and, the, and in the evening, make sure that those teeth are brushed. Don't share toothbrushes. Okay. We need every child to have their own toothbrush. What's your thought on fluoride? Because I feel like that comes up a lot. So there's a lot of misinformation about fluoride, but fluoride is a naturally occurring material in our water that we need to have. Now, Pasco County does not have the mm -hmm. level of fluoride in it that is the optimal level. So unfortunately, in Pasco, you need to make sure that you seek your dentist or your pediatrician because you'll need fluoride drops or fluoride supplements. Okay, so definitely consult with in your Hillsborough doctor Hillsborough County, the level of fluoride in the water is perfect. Now, it's very important to um, brush with fluoride toothpaste, mm -hmm. and you can also use some fluoride rinses, but most important is we need to talk about nutrition. Yeah, well, and let's start. We only have about 30 mm -hmm. seconds left, but I know this is always an example it's you love to show example. with the Cokes and the so sodas. With all the sodas, there's a lot of sugar, so it's almost like drinking and um, putting a sugar bath on your teeth, so make sure that you have water is the last thing at nighttime for mm -hmm. anyone to have, and make sure that if you're going to have an occasional soda, to get it off by brushing or by rinsing with water. And I felt like we didn't address this guy. He's too cute not to address, but he goes into the schools with you, right? He goes into the schools and we talk she about all the kids surfaces, how to, brush how to properly brush. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, again, Happy New Year. Thank you You're so welcome. much. You, of course, will put info on more health on our website okay. so you can find out more about what they're doing the rest of the year. Fantastic. But, uh, thanks for coming in today, Karen. Oh, thank you so much.